Oh, so soft. So supple. Oh, I, I just want to caress you. It <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a t-shirt. Let's get into this video. The quintessential and definitive guide to choosing a t-shirt blank. T-shirt help brusque. What's up guys, Gary Ejene, t-shirthelpdesk.com. Make sure you go down and click on that subscribe button and click that notification bell. And if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, follow us so you'll be notified of all this fantastic information we have on the t-shirt industry. Now, I know a lot of you guys are dead set. You know exactly what t-shirt company you're gonna use to get your blanks from. And some of you guys are undecided. And this is why this video is being made. And for some of you guys who are dead set, you might see something that may uh, change your mind. Now in this video, we're going to be focusing on three main key points when it comes to a t-shirt blank. Fit, feel, and price. Now we're going to be covering quite a few t-shirts in this video, so it may be a little lengthy. So I took some time and created timestamps for each brand and that's going to be down in the description box okay so if something piques your interest you can go right directly to that brand but i strongly suggest that you watch this video in its entirety so enough with all this talking without any further ado roll that beautiful bean footage here we go okay guys this is the ideal by next level you can see all the style number information down in the left corner this is what it fits like on the model we're just gonna lay it out and we're gonna give it the old uh feel test and it feels nice uh it's mediocre it's not the softest and it's not the scratchiest so it's like kind of right in the middle and it has that uh rip away label which is always good and it says ideal and not next level i don't know why and this is what it looks like uh from the back now the price is 366 and please note you probably can get these cheaper if you go direct to the manufacturer so here we are anvil and as you can see the fit is nice it's a standard fit it's a little bit more athletic but just slightly boxy but nice the feel is very nice i would say um, out of five, I would give it like a four, uh, uh, three and a half, 3.5 out of five, you know, somewhat soft, you know, and, and slightly above average. All right. It has that rip away tag. So you can do your branding. Okay. Very nice. Um, and here is the back. This is the back, uh, how it looks. Okay. Really nice. And the price is 326 okay of course you might can get it a little bit cheaper now price in general something you want to take into consideration if it's a bottom of the barrel t-shirt um then you want to get a t-shirt that's less expensive so you can even in that lower price you can have some room to make a profit and if you're selling a more premium t-shirt then you want to get a better quality blank to justify selling your t-shirt at a higher price and of course that blank is going to be a little bit more expensive but hey higher price more profit which means you can afford the more expensive blank let's go to the next one okay so this is jerseys okay we all know jerseys all right and uh, it's a slightly thicker slightly thicker shirt so we're gonna spread this bad boy out and you're gonna see that it's nice you just saw the fit it's a nice fit it's um, not too boxy not too athletic you know not too fitted nice shirt and the feel it's good it's it's a good middle of the road shirt you understand what i'm saying no complaints and you can see right here that there's no um side seam which is usually um the more athletic um shirts will have a side seam and right here you see that that is that rip away tag which is always a good sign for a blank all right now the feel is the middle of the road it's middle of the road about a three out of a five and, and the price is 431 which is a little high, a little high and this is how it looks from the back that's jerseys fit all right guys fit this is so very important because 
depending on your demographic, meaning your core target audience, meaning the people who you are pushing your t-shirt company to, they may want a different fit. You may have a young, hip demographic. They may want a smaller, tighter fit. You may have a older demographic. All right. They may want a little bit of a boxier fit. You may have an athletic demographic or you may be one of these people that's out here doing a line for people who are bodybuilders or CrossFit or something like that. Then in that case, you may want a more fitted, tighter, uh, smaller waist V taper type fit for your T-shirts. Everything has to do with your core target audience and not all T-shirts are the same. All right. So fit is so very important. All right. And this is the Hanes tagless shirt. Um, and this one is the epitome to me, in my opinion. It, it's a dad's shirt. It's a shirt that you just kind of it's just a shirt that you just kind of wear. It's really not for screen printing. You can see um, it's really big and boxy. All right. And it's very thick. A lot of you guys think that thick is a higher quality and mm, not necessarily. All right. The feel is it's OK. It's it's a uh, mediocre and there's no um, there's no side seam. All right. It's very hand feel is very mediocre. Not too soft. Not rough, though. Not rough. And this is really important right here. The, the back neck tag is already heat pressed, so you can't brand it. So not a good look, and um, this is how it looks from the back. You can see it's very big and boxy, so um, not the, for me, my opinion, not the best for starting a t-shirt business for obvious reason, but it, it does have a pretty good price, $279, and you probably could get it cheaper. Guys, the tag, the tag is so very important there was a time when hey whatever the brand of the t-shirt was they left their tag in and there was a time when you literally had to pay screen printers to cut the tag out so you could put your um, branding in it that's not the case anymore they make these t-shirts with mostly rip away tags so you can rip that tag out and put your own branding in there so i always want to call out what type of tag Hopefully a rip away is in your blank T. Also guys, when you are doing all the branding and you have your neck label and your hang tags and your boxes and everything matches, guys, that stuff looks so professional, such a what's called perceived value. You take your t-shirt line to a whole nother level, baby. All right, guys, alternative apparel. Very nice shirt. First thing you're going to see, you're going to notice that it is a little bit more fitted. Okay, so a very nice fitting shirt. All right, let's lay it out and let's give it an initial, just a feel test. And it, it's very soft, guys. Very soft, very nice shirt. Okay, uh, you can get in there and touch on that. Feels really good. All right, and also you're going to see that it is a you can see that side seam right there, which helps with the fit. So we're already having some uh, some premium things going on. You can see that fit, you know, a little bit a uh, little bit more tapered and fit it to the body. And it has that rip away tag. So this one is definitely a little bit more on the primo side. All right. And the price is about three eighty five. OK. Um, and of course, you may be able to get a little bit cheaper at the actual website, but alternative apparel, really nice shirt. All right, guys, this is the Hanes Nano T. This one totally came out of left field for me. Uh, different than the Hanes Tagless T, all right? Really nice fit, and the fabric is really soft. Uh, dynamite. T, all right. The fit is not quite um, the super fitted, but it fit really nice. And you're going to see right here that it has a really nice feel. Okay. Now, right here, you're going to see that it does not have the side seam. Okay. But it still managed to have a great fit. And I think that has to do with the fabric. It's a really light, soft fabric. So this Nano T. 
uh, surprise me. And uh, you can see that it also has that rip away tag. All right. So um, really nice. And once again, the feel was a really nice. You almost can see how soft it is, right? Surprise me, all right? Because I never heard of the Nano T. This is it from the back. And the price is $3.11. Once again, you might can get it cheaper from Hanes uh, themselves. So that is the Hanes Nano T. Okay, so here we are, Fruit of the Loom. Now, this one kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought it was going to be really bad, and it wasn't. The fabric is actually a nice feel. Not the best, not the worst. It's a light it's a light t-shirt guys it's a nice light t-shirt and it gets the job done if you want to just put something out there throw a screen print on it uh for the loom and of course it has the rip away tag all right which any good t-shirt should have and it was nice it felt good has a decent fit and uh, i was presently surprised this is it from the back and the price was 349 i thought it could have been a little cheaper but hey you know i got it from a reseller so if you buy it directly from fruit of the loom you may can get it cheaper all right on to the next one gildan or gildan all right this one is popular this is usually the shirt that you see that's the lowest price when you're choosing t-shirts on print on demand and there's a reason for that that's because the fabric is not very soft all right it's not nice it's not that nice feeling at all i mean it's okay after a couple of washes but initially mm, not the best feeling and that's why it's uh the least expensive um but it's a cool tee no side seam and the fit is it's okay um it's not boxy and it's it's not tapered or or like really fitted um fabric mm, uh, not the best feeling man not the best best feeling but it does have a rip away tag which is always good uh let's take a look at it from the back um cool t-shirt but um i would say low on lower on the quality scale and the price, $2.79, so you can see it's a, a little bit less. And, you know, hey, you get what you pay for, guys. All right, Gildan. Next level. Check this one out. Now, great thing about next level is look at the fit. Really great fit. Nice fitted to the body. Great. I mean, you can see it on the mannequin here. So let's lay it out. And um, first, you know, we're going to give it a nice little feel. And um, it feels great. It's really soft, really nice, all right? It's um, definitely a higher quality shirt. And also, you're going to see right here that it, too, has a side seam, okay, which is a um, telltale sign of a, a higher quality shirt and the rip-away tag here it is from the back the price 439 so uh it's a little bit it's, it's it's up there all right it's it's up there but it is a higher quality more premium t-shirt next level bella canvas good old bella canvas you've heard about them several times here at t-shirt help desk great t-shirt really light airy soft fantastic t-shirt with a great fit all right and uh let's take a look as you guys should know bella canvas also has the side seam okay which gives it a really nice fit it's light it's not a heavy fabric and it's really really soft and of course it has the rip away tag and as stated previously bella's one of the softest on the market all right right up there with next level and alternative apparel here it is from the back and the price 439 but that's from a middleman you can get it from bella canvas as most of these for about a dollar to 80 90 cents cheaper bella canvas 
Next, American Apparel. Yes, they are still around, okay? Um, they are really soft t-shirts, really nice, all right? And just to let you know, this t-shirt, all the other ones were largest. This one is a medium. So if it seems extra snug, that's because it is one size down, okay? But it does have a really good fit, all right? And it has that side seam, okay? So it is a more premium shirt with a nice fit okay this is it from the side you can see that it is a good slim fit all right and it yes has the rip away tag so great to brand with this is it from the back all right the price 392 all right so it's more on the premium side but a little bit less and like all the other ones if you go straight to the manufacturer you can get it for less all right guys as you can see all of the t-shirts are 100 percent cotton i didn't want to get into anything crazy i didn't want to get into the tri-blends or anything fancy schmancy like that that's going to be for another video i wanted to keep it basic 100% cotton t-shirts. But there is one exception. I am gonna show you guys one 100% polyester tee. This is a great t-shirt for any of you guys who are doing active, who are doing sports, people who are working out, golf, anything where people may be working out and get sweaty because 100% polyester is a natural wicking fabric, meaning that if you're sweating, it naturally will kind of wick that sweat away. And another thing about 100% polyester tees is that they are great for sublimation. In fact, really, it's the only thing you really can use for sublimation. All right. So if you want to sublimate small and if you want to do those big all over sublimation tees, you need a 100% or at least a very high polyester content. But one little thing, if you're doing sublimation, the shirt has to be a light color, preferably white. All right. So let me show you. This is the Jersey's Dry Power Sport T-shirt. Great shirt. And it feels like a regular T-shirt. That's what's so great about it. All right. So this is it. And it feels very similar to a standard jersey t-shirt. If you didn't know the difference, you probably couldn't tell. And it is soft. Not the softest, but it is a soft t-shirt. In the back, it doesn't have the rip away tag. Okay, so um, branding is going to be a little bit tricky. But um, the price is also a little bit uh, more, $563. This is it from the back. But if you want to do that athletic stuff, this is the way to go. Whew. That was a lot of t-shirts. Guys, they were in no particular order. I really wasn't trying to critique like that. I just wanted to present them to you so you can make your decision on what's going to be in your t-shirt line. Now, when it comes to actually purchasing these t-shirts, you can go to each brand's respective website, but please know a lot of these companies are going to require you to have a wholesale or a retail license. They may want to see your website. All right. So, you know, you may have to do that, but you're going to get the absolute best prices. Now, if you don't have that, no worries. You can go to places like jiffyshirts.com which is where i got all of these shirts okay they have you covered you don't need any of that stuff you can just go you can buy as little or as many as you like so anyway guys that's all i got for you today i'm finna put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door cheers to your t-shirts start a t-shirt business or die trying and do something good for somebody and if you don't have anyone to do something good for do something good for yourself. God bless and peace. Shirt man, shirt man, yeah, that's me. That's when you take your t-shirt line to a hoe. <coughs> Damn, that's taking it to another level, baby.